hi everyone so welcome to my channel i am hazley and today we are doing this beautiful holographic diy um desk and if you would like to see how i did it and how i created it then please um keep on watching and we'll get straight into it so i'm gonna do black and silver uh-oh so i wanted to use this one i don't know if you can see it's like a black hollow it's so pretty and this one is like just a hollow glitter yes this one right here is so hollow i know all you see is silver right now but it's so hollow it has all like the rainbows oh right there i love it and then i got two of these which are just big chunky ones um yeah and then i am going to be mixing that in here with the resin um so yeah so you're going to need the glitter the resin you're going to need tape you're going to need these you need a leveler because you're going to need your whatever you're doing to be leveled some kind of bucket i didn't have one so i'm just using a picture you're going to want to throw it away after so whatever you use you don't it's going to be something that you're not going to want anymore you're going to need gloves these are the only gloves i have for um house cleaning which they already have white paint all over them because i did use it to paint my desk you're going to need masks now on every video i seen no one had masks no one had any kind of protection like that and this stuff from what I did do some little bit of research and they say it don't have a, it does not have a smell but it's really really bad for your lungs. So that is that if you want to see how I do this glitter desk and then keep on watching. <laughs> do it you want to make sure that it has like a lip you'll see how it has that so when it drains on the corners it still catches it but you see how it's not fully laid down so you want it just like that so this does have two parts to it you want to put your resin in first and this is the hardener Okay, so I forgot to mention you're going to need a blowtorch to get all the bubbles out. Okay, you see how I don't have as much as the white anymore? It's because all that white was air bubbles. And with the torch, it gets out the air bubbles, so it really did clean it up quite nice. Like, look at that. Glittergasm. Yes, worth it. So 
so I guess I'll oh I look hideous I'll tune back in and show y'all the final product because I have to let it dry for 72 hours so I'll show y'all what it looks like in a few days okay guys so we're back I'm here with the glitter desk again we're already we're, we're almost done um, I just need to take off the blue tape around it and then I'm going to foul the edges a little bit so it's not as sharp. And I'm going to take y'all guys along through the process. So I do have my mask back on just because I don't want to be breathing in any of that dust. Um, now when I was doing the glitter dust, I did forget to put the gloves on. Um, it didn't hurt my fingers or anything. I washed it off. Um, but I am going to use the gloves because I don't want to scratch or file my nose off in any kind of way so we're just gonna go ahead and put the gloves on so I did already start to take some of the tape off just because I wanted to see what it was gonna look like but yeah uh oh oh no So the tape is taking off some of the paint, um, the white paint. So I'm probably going to have to go over that because now it's showing pink again. But oh well. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to do that because it is really sharp and you can like accidentally cut yourself or something. So you just want to smooth it out a little bit. I'm not going to do too much because I am accidentally scratching the actual glitter disc. I'm kind of sad that the, ta the tape is taking off the paint. Look. So now I'm just going to have to repaint it. Guys, I've been waiting for this thing to be over with for like a week. It is a process, <sighs> but that's because I painted it and then I had to wait a few days for this top to dry, but yeah. take um just a nail file because oh, on this side i did over here on this side over here i did um use that paper and it took off a lot of the paint so it looks really bad Let's see right underneath there you can kind of see okay so i'm just going to take the nail file and just kind of get rid of i don't know if you can even see let me take y'all down and show y'all so on this side of the desk, it slopes down, so the stuff was build, building up really bad, and it wouldn't stay right here. Like, I don't know if you can see um, a little bit of the white desk right here. Um, so it caused these little ripples, so we're going to go ahead and file them and take them away, file them down. I did go ahead and do this side, and it did get them out, but I was using the sandpaper, so it took off the paint. So now I have to repaint that part but yeah so these little bumps i'm gonna take them out so this is the desk after removing all of the tape if you hear noise in the background, I do apologize. My window is open. Um, so that's from the outside. Now this is with um, my camera lighting. And um, just because it is dark. But this is what it looks like without. So I'll put my camera there. And this is what it looks like. 
out and then I do have my lights on so we're gonna go ahead and turn those off so my only light that's in here is my ceiling light and even with that I still think it does pretty it looks pretty well it looks pretty nice but it's so pretty. Um, when it's natural light and the sun's beaming through the window, it really does just look so pretty. So for everything that you're going to need, you're going to need that blowtorch, the resin, the glitter, like I said, a mask and a container to stir everything in. I didn't end up using the black glitter I put a little bit in but then I stopped and I didn't put no more I didn't use the silver either the only thing the only glitters that I did use were the ones that I got from Amazon and this one because it was the holographic glitter and then all the little the little tubes of glitter that I had got the little ones I did use those so only the black and the silver I didn't use just because I didn't want a silver look um, I wanted a hollow look if it was up to me, I would have put more hollow in there. But overall, I think it did come out pretty good. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, um, I really appreciate you. You are the real MVP. Thank you so much. If you would, please go ahead, hit that um, subscribe button. It's right down here. Go ahead and be a member of my Hazley family. And let's try to grow and see what, what we can be. Um, like I said, you know, my channel is just all about me and my life and what I want, what I like to do and what I'm feeling out doing in that moment. Like this beautiful DIY desk right here that I did. Um, if you want to see more stuff like this, please go ahead and leave me a comment down below on how I can better improve my videos or how I can make them more enjoyable for you or what you want me to do or what you want to see from me. Just leave me, leave me a little something down there. Just show me a little love and I'll respond back. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. Bye.